Can I erase this board here, or would it be easier for me to write over here? Uh-oh. You guys over here will want me to write here, right? But you guys over here want me to write. Oh, but I didn't write in that corner. Eddie, over here. Good. Let me ask this. These nice questions. What percent, can I say percent of the population or percent of the sample? What percent of the sample has question one? No children. Okay? Question two. One child. Question three. Two children. Question four. Three children. I'm going to start off with that. But I'll ask you more questions, OK? So if you're going to answer these questions, you're going to have to convert your relative frequencies to percents by doing what? Multiplying by 100. You guys with me on that? What's the effect? And I'm going to sit there and write down the effect. The effect of multiplying every decimal by 100, what is that effect? What happens when you multiply a decimal by 100? How does the decimal move? You move, well, you move the decimal, how? Two spaces to the what? To the right. And again, the Y is in that presentation you can refer to. I mean, we don't meet till two weeks from now. You got a holiday next weekend. So what are you going to do? What are you guys going to do during the holiday? Good. Watch all that stuff that's there. You'll be ahead of the game. And you'll be better for it. You guys are students, right? You do whatever, well, I don't want to phrase it that way. As students, there's no such thing as a vacation. Do you guys know that? No such thing as vacation. What do you do on your vacation? You study. You work hard. You get ahead. You do whatever you have to. OK, so during that time, I'll check the count, because I have a count there. I know how many people are watching it. And if it doesn't change during the whole weekend, how am I going to feel? Huh? I'm going to feel bad. I got to make time for my jujitsu. OK? I do. And um, I was thinking of dropping a class. I don't know which one to drop. I was thinking, should I drop the Friday class? I could do that. Can I drop the Saturday class? Oh, that might be OK. What about that calculus class, Math 263? That's at night. I'm tired. I can be. In Torrance, maybe I could train, you know, all that fun stuff. I can have some fun. So I'm, I'm trying to think, what what class should I drop? I don't know. What are you guys gonna do over the weekend? Next weekend and this weekend maybe. Good, because we're gonna see that counter what? Move by at least how many people in the room? By five. There's no five people. We got like 65 people here. So I want to see that at least 65, meaning at least 60, hopefully at least doesn't exactly mean that. People have watched it. So that when I come back, everybody's going to get an A on the test. There's no reason why anyone, everyone shouldn't get an A. Okay? All that information's there. There's no mystery. I'm not going to try to you know, do anything weird by testing you on chapter 4 when we study chapters 2 and 3. It's all there. Okay. So make sure you guys look at that so I don't feel like actually, uh, you know what, I don't know. OK, here we go. What is 0.7 as a percent? What's 0.7? I'm going to move this decimal how? One, two spaces to the what? To the right. And what do you guys see now? What is that? What is that? That is now what? 70 what? 
percent. Here's a percent symbol. Let's move point two, two spaces to the right. And what do you see now? What do you guys see now? 20%. Oh, zero is still what? Zero percent. Point one. Point one, two spaces to the right. What do you guys see now? 10%. Notice when I add all these percentages, what is that approximately? In this case, it's exactly 100%, but if we had some approximation, it could have been approximately 100%. OK? You guys OK with that? Can you answer the questions now? Good. What percent of the sample had no children? 70%. Good, that's easy. What percent of the sample has one child? 20%. Good. What percent has two children? 0%. What percent has three children? 10%. Okay. Anybody have any questions on this? You sure? Positive? Yeah? All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to ask you these, but I'm actually going to, you guys, if you master this next step now, you're ahead of the game because you see this over and over and over throughout the, the course. Here's question five. What percent of the class has? At least one child. Let's say at least two children. Okay. Less than two children. No more than. No more than what? Let's say no more than two children. Doesn't matter. And then finally between one and three children. Personally, I'm going to say this. You know, I've noticed certain things. Uh, you know, since I teach probability and statistics, I, I really, I think this way very often. And that's actually what you guys should get out of this course, really, is to learn how to think. It's not just do the computation. You learn how to think about things and what this stuff really means. And so very often, I, you know, I, I, I evaluate things. I look at what usually happens, what can happen, what percent of the time do certain things happen. And I have found from the past that People that have trouble with statistics, um, there's a lot of different reasons. But one of the reasons has to do with language.